Tell us uh, your name, position, school. Uh, Terrence Austin from uh, Long Beach Poly, and I'm a wide receiver. You mentioned Long Beach Poly. One of the things we want to talk first. Okay. Talk about the tradition when you're coming to a school like Long Beach Poly. You guys just named number one high school in America. Talk about coming and being a part of all this. Well, first of all, it starts from you know coming from ankle low. You know, you come to the school games as a uh, you know elementary student or a junior high student, and I mean the first thing that comes to mind is football, of course, because that's what we big at. But um, you know, it goes from basketball to baseball, Tony Gwynn and um, track, you know, Kareem Kelly and Earl McCullough, you know, from young to old. But um, any from any game, you know, it comes down to people who's been here for a while, and it's more like a family thing. When you come here, it's like you're dealing with people who's been here, and you're dealing with people that's going to be here. So when you come here to perform, it's like you trying to help on both ends. So you got to deal with things that happened in the past, and it's kind of like building a future thing. And that's... That's how we deal with tradition here at Long Beach Poly. Tell us about your earliest memories of who who you were watching as a little tyke and who you, when you were coming to games. Oh, uh, coming here, I remember uh, Carl Moses, uh, uh, Kareem Kelly, Kenyon Rambo, Daryl Doe, Dennis Link, uh, Reggie Butler. Um, I mean, it's so many guys. Andre Cyrus, Larry Croon, Chris Lewis. I mean, it's, it's, it goes from a thousand names that I can name from, you know, being here from South. I was like three years old and... Maybe earlier than, earlier than that, my dad, when I was first born, my dad brought me to a couple games and my grandmother used to be upset to tell my mom, like, oh, don't bring that kid out there, you know, you're going to get sick. But, uh, I mean, I've been, you know, bleeding green and gold since I've been an infant. That's good to hear. So yeah. you, you come out here and you, you have a rare accomplishment here. Not too many freshmen right. are suiting up on varsity here. Right. Uh, talk about that experience, Bill. What you learned from that coming out here so early? Okay, um, coming here, I was in eighth grade and um, my dad used to bring me out here to watch the uh, high school practices and stuff. and. Um, uh, you know, I would sit back and watch the receivers here early, and I always used to, you know, say, hey, you know, I want to be like Derrick Doe, you know, play as a freshman, and a lot of people would laugh at me, like, oh, you know, you can't do that, and I mean, I never really had intentions on playing, you know, at my freshman year, I just wanted to be up there, varsity guy, and, and on Friday night, and um, I got a chance to try out, and um, I tried out and I ended up making the team, and it was more of a learning thing for me, because coming out here, working with guys, older guys, and, um, especially in my position at receiver, working with those guys and learning the deal. And it really helped me out for my sophomore year because I was able to be in the rotation. And I actually started in the three-receiver rotation with uh, Deshaun Jackson and uh, 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 Derek Jones. So, you know, working with those guys at my freshman year, it really helped me out. And, uh, you know, by me being, making that accomplishment, I was one of the few to make that. Right, and then that obviously leads into one of the things that Long Beach Poly is waiting your turn. Yeah, you don't walk in here as a sophomore and you're the man. Right, you need to wait behind Derek. Right, and you need to wait behind Deshaun. Deshaun. Right, and see that's what a lot of people have a mistake about. A lot of people go as oh well, you know, Poly gets transfers or something like that. You know, a lot of that happens to go with people who come here and want to play, and that goes for people who's coming in. You know, from eighth grade and coming in as a freshman too. They have to. Uh, you know, realize that when they come here, it's going to be competition. And, you know, don't expect to just jump right in in the spot because you're all world. It happens in the chain reaction. You have to come in and work your hardest and show the coach that you belong on the team. And you know, that's what basically I did. I came in my freshman year and showed that I wanted to play. In my sophomore year, I got to earn a starting spot. And in my junior year, I earned another starting spot. So this year is going to be like another year of me trying to come out and show what happens in a repetitive scene from my uh, freshman year. So that's that's how the, the situation goes. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of comparisons with you and Deshaun. Right. Tell us in your mind, where are you different and where are you the same? Well, when me and Deshaun, it's like um, I noticed that when he was here, he was a real hard worker. And me, first coming in, it was like I was lost. Also, as a freshman, because he, he played his sophomore year here too. So I came in as a freshman, I was lost. And for one person, I wanted to make sure I could be like. And Deshaun was the closest to me because he was the closest to me in age. So. I compared myself to him early to try to work out and, you know, be hard and everything. So a lot of comparisons come between me and him because we both did a lot of stuff with the same, of workouts and a lot of things like that. So we were compared to each other at the beginning, but I don't think that we're that much different at all. I think we both at the same kind of uh, intensity level as far as went out there playing on the field. And uh, we're similar in size, similar in quickness and speed. But um, I, to tell you the truth, I really couldn't find a difference you know, between me and him, uh, I may say our mentality is different as a football player. You know, he's more of a tra uh, more of a trash talker, I'll say, but I'm more of a, like a guy that's more of a short, short show guy. You know, I go out there and I say, let me see what you're going to do. I want to tell him, hey, you know, I'm going to do this. I, I just do it. 
I won't talk trash talk or anything. I just you know play the game. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference I can find in teams. Talk about the importance at Long Beach Poly of track and how, how that plays a role in your development as a football player. Mm -hmm. Well, coming out to uh, to football, it's always a thing. Okay, you know the skill position is uh, here at Poly has been known to have speed, and it helps out a lot to come out and work out with the track coach Don Norford or you know Earl McCullough. Those guys know about speed, so. You, if you think about going to the next level, you would probably want to get some kind of advantage. So when I came here, I definitely said, oh, I'm going to run track because, you know, I want to be one of those good guys that's out there that's blazing speed. So when you come out here to poly and run track and play football, it does go hand-in-hand -hand if you're thinking about going to the next level.